Hey everybody, this is Steve Eck again with the Arctic Winter Games. I'm the web developer for the website that we'll be using during the games. Um, so today I'm going to go over how to authorize photos, and this will be the job of the photo liaison. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into the back end of the site. And way to access that is to go to awg2014.org forward slash administrator. You'll come to a screen that's very similar to this one. And I will be giving you a username and password, which you'll be able to use. You can put it in here, and then you can type it in and go ahead and log in. This is going to give you access to the back end of the site. Now, your back end is going to look a little different than this. This is the full back end. I have access to everything. You're going to have access only to one part of it, which is called a component. You're going to have access to a component called the FOCA gallery. And that is the, the gallery that's creating the um, front page photo gallery. So so it, it, it may look a little busy or complicated here and all the drop downs here. You're not going to have to worry about any of this. Um, because you'll have only one thing to really click on. And I'll, I'll show you that prior to the games. Um, if you are a photo liaison, chances are we'll be meeting several times throughout each day of the events. So anyway, I'm going to go to Components, Focal Gallery. We're going to go to the Control Panel so you can see what this is what you'll be looking at. So what we're going to do here is we're going to assume that you've gotten information that a photographer out in the field has uploaded photos from the front end of the website, like I already demonstrated, um, to a particular event uh, on a specific day. And how are you going to get that information? I'm not sure. I think you guys are going to figure that out, but maybe through a text or an email or a phone call. Someone will say, uh, hey, the, the one we're going to do is uh, mushing for March 17th. So somehow you've been notified that the mushing photos for the March 17th gallery are ready to be authorized. So how you're going to do that is basically you're going to go into the image area. There's two ways to get the images. There's this drop down here. And then there's also up here at the navigation bar. They both go to the exact same place. And from here, what you're going to see when you're in here is you're going to see every single photo that's been uploaded by the photographers. Now, this is going to get overwhelming after a few days because you're going to have thousands of photos in here. And so there's a way to organize this. You've been notified that the mushing mushing for March 17th are ready. So you can actually navigate to those photos specifically. Um, real quick here, the overview of this, um, of the back end here. This, this red bar is going to show up a lot. Don't let it distract you. I know red is kind of like an alarming color, but it's just telling you the, that you have photos that need to be authorized. So you're going to see this a lot because you'll probably have multiple photographers uploading. All right, so to get to the mushing section, or to any event and day, you'll simply click this category area here. You'll find the event, and you'll see I'll have more of them in here right now. This is just set up for the demo, but we know that the dog mushing, March 17th, are ready to be approved. And so you'll click on that, and this will take you to those photos. And it's a pretty simple process. You can scroll down. You can see that right now we only have a dozen photos up here. And, but you may, you know, the photographer, photographers may be uploading 50 at a time. And if you want to get a better look at them, you simply click on the thumbnails and they'll pop open and you can see what the photo looks like. If you think it's good enough for the website, you can authorize it simply by, there's the authorized column here, all these red dots, simply click it. And that red dot will turn green and is now authorized. Now let's say you find a photo that you, you don't like. You're like, well, this one's just, it's it's poor shading, or you can't tell the action that's going on. Um, all these photos are pretty good. But what, let's just assume that um, this photo here, let's say for some reason we don't, we, there's photo information that's missing or, or we're not allowed to use it. So not only will you not authorize it, but I recommend that you unpublish it, which is, here's the publish button unpublish it. So you know that you've looked at that one already and it's not unauthorized by accident because maybe you didn't look at it. Chances are for a few events you might have two photographers uploading multiple photos for one event for one day. So you might be visiting this area later on in the day and you'll forget which ones you've already looked at. So by unpublishing it 
that will signal to whoever's looking at it, okay, someone has already looked at this and unpublished it. So there's some reason it's not going on, whether it's a quality control or there's maybe some permission uh, questions that you have. Now let's say that you see that just from the thumbs, you're like, okay, this is good, and this is good. Oh, I like that one, and this one's good. And you want to do a, a, a bulk authorization. Just click the ones you want to authorize here, and then up in the top right hand, you'll see that there's a the, the bulk publish, unpublish. Here's the bulk authorize. Just click that, and you'll authorize all those right there that you just clicked. I'm actually going to authorize them all so we can see them in the front end. But that's it. It's really that simple. You just navigate to the the right category. These are called categories in this database. So you select the right category, which would be the event and the day of the event. You'll be given access to all the photos that have been uploaded to that folder, and then you go through and authorize them. And we're just going to leave this one unauthorized and unpublished just for this example. So on the front end, let's see if I have that window open here. So the front end of the website looks like this. And let's we're going to go right into the photo area. I am not logged in as anybody right now. So this is what the actual visitor is going to see. They're going to go to dog mushing. And they'll go to March 17th. And then they'll see the photos that you've authorized for publication. Now, this isn't going to be exactly how this site's going to look. Um, but We'll be we'll be making some adjustments. The download button will be gone. Um, there might be some template issues that we might fix. But basically, this is how it will work. And they can click on them again, and they can view. And in the large view of the photos, we've disabled. You can't tell I'm doing it, but we have disabled the right click so that no one can copy anybody's photos. Um, anyways, that's that's it. It's that simple to authorize, publish, and unpublish and unauthorized photos. For those, again, if you're in the liaison, liaison group, you, you are going to be meeting me and seeing me throughout the day, and I'll make sure you have uh, my cell phone so if, um, if issues come up, we have complications, you'll have uh, direct access to me, and I'll be able to uh, walk you through any complications or difficulties that may arrive. All right. Thank you very much, folks.